it's about that. It's about figure. Your twenties are about figuring out who you are because it's going from this, this structure that's having a plan. Like I said, like being in, knowing, okay, I'm in high school and now I'm in college and now I'm doing this while I'm in college and then getting out and just like being set free and to this, like there's so much option. There's so much choice that you ha are the only one that really has a control over. So how do you handle that and where do you go from there? And I think it takes a really long time. I think it takes that 10 years until maybe more, maybe less, um, before you know where your life is going. I'd always been interested in photography as like when I was a kid, like I always wanted a camera and to take pictures. And I started taking photos of friends like just for fun, for practice. And then people started reaching out to me saying, um, oh, I need, I need a headshot or I need a photo for, you know, my, my music thing. I need like photos of myself with my guitar and whatever. And, um, I was doing it so much that I eventually was like, I should maybe start charging people for this. Um, I started, my fee was like 50 bucks and, but it was like, to me, I was like, I just got paid for this. Um, and then I eventually invested in like better lenses and, and, um, as I was like learning just from experience, like I feel like the photos got better and better. And now it's like a freelance business. Um, as an actor, um, I just think I'm, I tend to be really emotional and um, I can tap into that pretty easily. And I think I'm, I strive to be really honest and I think that's, and not just honest like in talking to somebody, but like, I don't know how to explain it, but I, I think in, while acting, I, I just want the whole thing to be honest. It was always something that I, like people were like, well, you know, it's really hard, the business. And I was always like, well, if you want to do something, then you just make it happen. And I'm not worried about the business because I know that I'm strong enough to deal with it. Do you know what I mean? But I don't think that I ever, not ever, I don't think that it hit me like, like that it occurred to me that I wouldn't be not be strong enough but that it would be a challenge for me like I knew that it was a challenge for other people and I was like um other people like they just don't care enough or they don't want it enough and I know that I want it enough so when I graduate from college I'm just gonna go out there and put myself out there all the time and be all about my art and all about the work that I want to do and like it never occurred to me that I wouldn't be motivated. It's more competitive and just like always striving and striving. And then you get out and it's like, it's this whole city of like, there's so much opportunity, but like, where do you look for it? And then people tell you like with these unions and you can't audition for, I, I mean, I don't, I don't even really know. Like you can't, apparently can't audition for a union project if you're not in the union, but you, how do you get in the union if you're not in it? Uh, like if you can't audition and it's just is so overwhelming that it's like you, I feel like maybe I put it off because I don't even know where to start. And I think that's where the doubt comes. Like, how do I do this? Like, I'm embarrassed to say that I don't know how to do this sometimes. And it's, and maybe that's where the, procrastination and like the lack of motivation comes from like there have to be so many other people in the city like me that don't know where to go don't know what to do or or have ideas I mean I'll come home from work or wherever I am and I'll just like have an idea for a for a play or a or a or anything and I'll like write it down and and or type it up and just like and I'm like where I want to do this, but like, who am I going to do this with? Like who, there has to be somebody else. I think, I don't, I wouldn't say that I lost 
my motivation to be an actor. I think it, it's just like you graduate and it's like, well, for me anyway, I graduated and it was like, all right, you need to get your headshots done. And I was like, okay, I want to pick the right photographer, whatever I want. But I also needed a new job. If I have this opportunity to start bartending, whatever, I can do it. And I, th I, I think my focus just went so much into working in the bar and like climbing up in the bar and like moving to a busier bar and then being dissatisfied with my shifts at that bar and only waitressing and not bartending. I don't, I don't know if they've, I haven't made a complete change in goal. Like I do, I still, if people say, what do you want to do with acting? I'm like, I want to make a living off of acting. I don't, I'm, I want to, what I, I want to just be able to do only that. I get a set, I, I mean, I get, I definitely get a satisfaction from being in the bar, but it's not anything like the satisfaction of like working in the arts. It's just a challenge to juggle everything and to pursue your artistic life while you're doing your rent paying life. Like I just moved like a, less than a month ago and it's like, it clears out your, all of your savings, or at least for me anyway. Like you need new furniture, you need to, you know, pay movers to put up blinds or to anything. It's, it's just, and then to be doing all of that and to pay for all of that. And then to also say, okay, I'm going to wake up at however early in the morning and audition or, or, and pursue my art or whatever I'm doing. And then to, after that's over, to go to work into the bar all night and be up until at least, at least two o'clock in the morning. And then it's just, it's exhausting. So it's not that the opportunity is not there. It's just hard to pursue it because of life. I don't know myself exactly what my next step is that I think like when I get asked that question, I just get annoyed. Like I don't want to talk about it because I'm still trying to figure it out. I think in the grand scheme, um, I live in New York City. I have my own apartment here. I pay my rent, I pay my bills, I have a job, I have friends, like so many wonderful people. Um, and that was something that a lot of people, some people didn't think that I could do. So yeah, <laughs> I think that's pretty successful.